Hey guys, what's going on? I just wanted to make just a quick video, <clears throat> just kind of just recapping um, everything the Strike uh, Trader Elite does for you guys. Just maybe maybe some uh, information on like how you can actually be trading with this, because uh, I know we we have a lot of uh, a lot of members that have um, questions here and there that they're hitting us up in support, uh, that are messaging us in Discord and things like that. So I kind of wanted to clear some things up. Um, with the strike trader um, elite system and um, so as you most most of you know well everybody I guess would know that this is not a robot um, so you're not it's not going to be able to take every single trade and I think someone mentioned about the 70% um, win rate so if that was the case with every single signal we would literally just have a robot trading this thing the entire day and making tons of money but unfortunately on the 15 minute time frame it's not exactly that easy, um, but the system still works and you still can get a 70% win rate. You just got to make sure you're trading the right uh, signals. And um, that's why we give you the, all those nice informational videos about the system and how we were able to do that um, consistently and, and what uh, kind of like what to look for uh, with Strike Trader Elite trades. Um, but we've been adding in different things, different elements like the uh, the based on the ATR, so you can trade on those higher time frames that way you don't have to be sitting in front of your charts um, with this thing. But there, we have so many um, so many cool little things like this dashboard and um, all these signals that we offer. So really, how I've been trading this the last. Um, since we got this scanner, um, it's because it's, it's been really helping. Because I because I'm actually trading this um, along with you guys because I really, really want to make sure it's working, and um, it's it's going pretty good. But I just wanted to show you how kind of how I'm doing it. Um, so maybe that maybe if some of you still have some questions about it, I can maybe clear up some things here. So basically, all I do is come on to MetaTrader. Um, this is MetaTrader Four. Uh, we, we can throw MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5. Um, I prefer MetaTrader 4. And um, so really what I do is just go, go up here. I'll open up a new chart. Um, let's just take away some of these charts. Go up a new chart. And I actually, um, actually, I'll just go here first to our small, this is a small time frame. So if, I don't know if I've explained this. I, I think I did. But the smalls are the defaults. Um, that's a 15 minute time frame. That's going to be 30 points. It's going to go, or it's it's going to be 30 pips target, 15 pips stop loss, and that is our default. That's where the system was was um, designed for. And then we got our large, which is based on the ATR, and that um, is going to be a little bit different. Take it's going to be a little bit different. Take profits and stop loss. It's going to be a little bit higher uh, because a 30 pip target on a four hour time chart is just a little bit ridiculous and especially a 15 pip stop so we kind of based on the atr so the signal is the same all these are going to be the same exact signal the only thing different is is those take profit and stop loss recommendations are going to be a little bit different and we found that using atr on the higher time frames actually seem to work so that's kind of why we did that because uh, we, we had a couple people that are just like well i don't really trade 15 minute to five minute um so we went ahead and we we did some things and that seemed to work with the uh, the higher time frames. So really, all I do is just throw this on to the chart, which is gives us our uh, our push, our pulse, our dashboard, everything else, and then um, get a 15 minute time. Well, really, the, I guess this really doesn't matter. What I do this first is just look at the dashboard. So the pair you're on, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to go up here to the dashboard, and this is our 15 minute time chart. Um, with our defaults, 30, 30 pips and 15 pips. So if there's really no signals, um, like right now there really isn't any signals um, at all, on the, especially on the defaults, 15 minutes. Um, but if you remember, if you look at some of our, our trainings, is you can trade this on the 5 minute, the 15 minute, and the 30 minutes. So if you don't see anything in 15 minute, you don't, say, you don't think that there is no signals at all because there still is. Um, there's probably, there most likely is, I should say. And so I do see one here, and um, it actually looked to be a really good trade that I missed. <laughs> um, but what, what I really love most about this dashboard, and it's seriously one of the best features, is you just can literally click on the chart and then just go ahead and see the trade in action. Um, so this looked like a really good trade. Um, it looked like it, it signaled here, and it just kind of stayed flat until it actually 
you know, broke down. So that, that would have been a really nice trade. I wish I would have got into that. Um, I must have missed it. Um, I probably was away from my charts and, uh, that's, it's one bad, it's one bummer sometimes about, um, you know, these quick trades is you sometimes miss them, which is fine because there's going to be a lot more. <laughs> uh, that's what's good about uh, trading on lower time frames is it seems like there's just so many signals that if you miss one, you just got to, you know, reload and find the other signals. So, um, so yeah, this looks like the only signal at this time with the strike, and that seems to be a really good signal. Uh, right now, it doesn't look like there's really much else going on with it. I mean, we might be able to add into this, like right now, um, to maybe get these 20... 20 pips here but i just don't know if that's uh it's probably the right move at this point um this would have been the, probably the better entry up here uh, especially when it well actually when it broke here this is when it really went uh crazy so this would have been actually another really great trade to enter in or add on to your position um as well um so yeah so that's that's really what i do first that's the first really the first thing i do um and then if there is there isn't anything, um, what I did is, and I could probably I could probably get our guy to throw this into the uh, and then install for our next update. Is I actually added templates. You, it's, it's like very easy to, to add templates. So what I what I've did is this: I have a scanner template. So I have the scanner for the ATR, which is the that uh, there's different take profit and stop losses, and then I also have a scanner for the, all all the pairs. Uh, this is the defaults, and then I have just the default settings. Um, Actually, these are pretty much the same, so I don't know why I have. I think these. This must just be for something else. Oh, this is just this is just this right here. Only it's a little bit bigger. I made it a little bit bigger. Um, so yeah, I I made the font size a little bit bigger. I kind of like you know I I like adjusting it a little bit, and that's why we gave you all these different settings. Um, but yeah, here's all. So I go to all pairs, and then so here's a couple. Now be cautious whenever you trade. You start trading with the non-recommended. So all the recommended are blue. And then um, the ones that are not recommended are not blue. So be a little bit careful whenever you're trading these, um, but you can still trade them. And I've traded a few already, and it, it worked out pretty good. Uh, but you do want to make sure it looks like a good signal. And uh, this looks to be like a decent signal, especially if it breaks this. Um, I don't know if I would actually be interested in that, though. Um, so, yeah, so that's one thing as I, I look at the other pairs and see if there's anything interesting this actually looks pretty interesting um but again this isn't like exactly the most recommended thing but it's just it's it's nice to see that there's other it does work with other pairs and uh, this actually looked like a pretty good break of this level uh, so this might be actually a good good place to go along um but yeah so that's another thing you can do you can check out those other pairs and then if you still don't see anything um Let's just go to uh, the defaults. Oh, this is why I did this. Is uh, well, let's just go back to this because you can go to because here you can change change the different time frames. So let's look at the five minute time chart. And there still doesn't look like there's too many signals. There is a uh, USDN. I think I'm going to be getting into this today. Um, this is on the five minute chart, but I'm not um, interested until it breaks this level. I don't think I'm going to get this into this trade until it breaks this level. So um, just because I think if it, once it breaks that, it's going to be a pretty nice trade. Uh, right now, it's just it's just kind of doing its own little thing. But I think once it breaks this level, um, it's going to be a really good trade. And so. So yeah, so I mean that's what we gotta do. Just go to different time frames. So um, this, these are the uh, these are the default. All right, let me see here. Let me go up here. Um, yeah, these are the default calculating points. And so when you're on the points, when you're doing the calculating points, I would only be looking. A minute chart is rough. Um, it's so quick down here. It's it's. I mean, you can trade it, but man, it's. Just be very cautious. I would stick with, it, especially if you're going for the 30 pip target. I'm sticking with the five minute, the 15 minute, and the 30 minute. That's the bread and butter. That's the strategy, and I think that's that's going to be um, where you want to go. And I actually I saw it on 30 minutes, so this is I'm probably going to follow the 30 minute um, chart. See how the 30 minute has a little bit higher um, than the five minute signal, and so that's probably. That's uh, that's probably the, sorry about that. It's probably the signal that I'm going to uh, be going for. Um, 
but anyways so let's go back here and um so yeah that's that's the that's that's the one with the points and then if you still don't see anything if you still don't see any signals um either a uh walk away for a little bit and then come back until there is some signals um or you could jump over to the ADR settings. Um, and then what you want to do with the ATR, I actually should change this. I'm actually going to change this. Um, I need to do, let's just go all symbols here. Um, because if you're doing specific, uh, specific symbols where our defaults, it's only going to show for minute, um, 15 minute time chart. So just switch them to all symbols and you're going to be able to see other time. Time frame. So with this, I would I would stick with the ATR settings. I would stick with the hour, the four hour, and you could probably go daily, but I, the hour and four hour for sure. Um, so let's see if we have any other signals, and there really isn't anything else uh, that's very interesting. Um, just another, um, just same signal. Um, this it's still only a little bit higher. So I'm definitely going to be getting in this USD yen. I just it's gonna have to wait for um, gonna have to wait for a break there. Um, so yeah, so there really isn't much else. Um, really, there's not much else here um, with all the settings. So that's it. So I mean, if it's if the, if there's no signals and there's signals, uh, you don't want to force you don't want to force anything. If there isn't anything there, don't trade it. And you know, there's always going to be another trade, especially with this system. Uh, probably 30 minutes from now, there's going to be uh, some some other signals and, um, and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I wouldn't worry about it too much if you don't see any signals. Um, but I, I really do think, and the more I trade it, the more I see it is the USDN is is just rock solid. With this strategy, it's just rock solid, and um, I think I got in this trade. I could probably look pull on my market watch, but I did get in this trade. I think here, and um, that they did get in that one. But the um, yeah, the USD yen pair is really good. Um, a lot of the times it will, or not a lot of times, but sometimes it will do this stuff on you. Um, but I. Probably I did not tr I did not trade this just because it just it seemed like it was just in this little conglomeration area, and um, and this one this one was a nice little quick winner. And if you would have moved it, most likely you're going to be moving your stop loss from here to to here. So you, this one probably would have been a break even. Um, but um, a lot of the times with the USDN, I mean, you see stuff like this. As soon as it triggers, it's gonna it's gonna hit. The take profit one go for take profit two um this one and you got to be a little bit um aware of where you're where because sometimes 15 minute or 15 pips does doesn't make sense um at the time um so for instance maybe here um you would have had your stop loss here instead of here because it just doesn't make sense to have your stop loss right here because you got um these levels here and you got you got these coming down here as well, so you probably wanted it. Um, you probably wanted it like right here. So you technically still, if you stayed in it, you technically still could have been profitable with this. So I wouldn't. Um, we do have recommended 15 pip hard stop, but sometimes you can be a little bit like right in this this stop. You put put it right there, right above this um, support, right above the resistance. Um, it just always makes sense to just to just do that, and then what you could do is to keep the two to one. You could always just move this down a little bit more, so you're still honoring the two to one risk reward ratio. You're just kind of moving your sub. So that's kind of how I mean that's how kind of trading is as well. Um, you, not every trade is going to be the same ever, um, so it's kind of why it's a little bit difficult sometimes to actually have the points. But um, that's really the only way that we could figure it out uh, for uh, the system. So just just make sure you're aware of that um, every time you're making trades. But yeah, the USDN, I would highly recommend you guys check out that pair with you with the Strike um, Trader Elite because I think it's probably the best out of all the recommended pairs that we have um, and that we've tested. So 
uh, yes, yeah, so you definitely want to check that out. So if you guys have any questions, I just kind of wanted to show you how I've been trading with this. Now this is the uh, this is MetaTrader. Um, we do have it on um, TradingView, and um, TradingView version literally works the same thing. Only it's only based on that ATR settings. So you're not going to be able to actually get. Uh, you can you can calculate in there as points. Uh, it was just super difficult um, to get that. It's going to be the same signals. Um, they're always going to be the same signals. Um, however, just that uh, to get the 30 pip stop and a 20 pip, or the 30 pip, I'm sorry, the 30 pip target and then the 15 pip stop loss was a little bit difficult um, to manage on there. So we ended up just only using the ATR. That way you can trade it with crypto, with stocks, um, Apple. Apple was killing it. Um, I, if you go on the back test settings, um, it was absolutely killing it with Apple. Um, so, and um, we haven't really dabbled a lot with stocks with Strike, um, but we're definitely that's definitely something that we really want to um, maybe put some more focus on. Um, if you guys trade stocks, I mean, I mainly for forex this this was for, um, but it, it is looking like it works really well with stocks and options and all the other good stuff. So, if you guys have any questions? Um, please go in the Discord room. I mean, we—that's the reason why we made the room is to to answer your guys' questions for everybody to be able to talk with each other. I mean, everybody's literally trading the same signals, and so um, we thought, what better way than to have a uh, a trading room with all um, with everybody trading the exact same signals? Um, so I try to shoot out whenever I'm taking a trade. Um, where I where I'm trading it and everything, um, but sometimes I don't. Maybe I'm not there um, in the room to be able to share that information. But um, it's definitely something that we really want you to uh, to be using. I know we got a, over like I think like 200, 300 people now, um, or 200, you know, 200 of you guys. So uh, we really want to make this thing awesome. So uh, hopefully you guys will be in there. Um, asking some questions and um, interacting with the community. So, um, yeah, again, any questions, like I said, hit us up in Discord, and I'll be around. Um, if anybody has any specific questions, just let me know. Um, I'm more than willing to jump on a call with you, or um, I can even just shoot out another video like this. Um, I just kind of wanted to um, answer some questions, some common questions about the um, strategy here, and uh, so we could push forward. Thanks, guys.